Today, we will be talking about wearable technology. Why are we talking about wearable technology, right? It's very popular. Apple Watches, uh, Fitbits, Garmin's, things like that. We're gonna talk about that today because a lot of these devices have really started to catch on and implement fall detection uh, technology into these devices. Now, a lot of your home care devices, things where you push a button and it will call or connect to someone, they have been doing this for a while, minus the fact that things like the Apple Watch are putting uh, gyroscopes and, and, and really impressive technology like that into their devices so that it will detect a sudden acceleration of speed and a sudden stop or a bump. It's really impressive. Um, most devices here, and if you'll look on your sources page when you get your printout, uh, all this information is here. Again, I just want to touch the highlights. Most devices tested used accelerometers, often in combination with gyroscopes. So there's some impressive stuff going in here. Three systematic reviews reported an average sensitivity of 93.1% or greater. What that means is that these are able to detect falls at a 93% rate or let me back up. They're able to detect the, the sensitivity, right? They're sensitive to that fall, so they're pretty accurate. Or greater on an average specificity of 86% or greater of detection of falls. So there's your number. They're 86% accurate according to this test that you'll get in your sources. That's pretty good. And if you have someone, a loved one, or yourself that's at risk of falling, not only can these devices accurately, fairly accurately detect the fall, if you hurt yourself, if you live alone. Also, the Apple Watch, there you go. The Apple Watch, I know for sure, I know there's other devices out there, Android, Samsung has a watch. You can actually call from your watch. How many of you walk around the house you don't carry your phone with you? I do, right? If you have a loved one, this is something you should think about and look at. The interesting part to all of this, what I found most interesting, the accuracy really depended on where you wore the device. Believe it or not, wearing it on the shin actually showed to be more uh, accurate than wearing it on the wrist. Not to say that wearing it on the wrist is not accurate, but there were different places that this study put the device that showed a little bit more accuracy. So very interesting stuff. Uh, it, it's this review here we're reading from. Wearable technology offers a low cost and accurate way to effectively detect falls and summon for help. Let me say that again. Accurately detect falls and summon for help. Probably the most important thing, okay? Let me cruise through here so we're not taking up too much class time. All right, that's not too important here. Okay. Two types of devices. Your wearable, you, you have things like Apple, Samsung. You also have your home care devices, right, where you push the button. I'm not going to go through the list, but it's on your sheet. The things you want to look for when you're looking for a different wearable technology device. You know, do you want a home-based or mobile system? Should your system be monitored or not? Should you add a fall detection feature? Okay, so take a look at your sheets when you get them, and all that information is there for you, okay? So I don't want to take up too much class time. Uh, I'd rather spend it working. <laughs> so any questions? All right, let's fire away.